नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू और एनपीवी द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एनपीवी दैट इज नेट प्रेजेंट वैल्यू इट इज यूज इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ कैपिटल बजटिंग एंड कैपिटल बजटिंग इन जनरल इंप्लाइज ह्यूज कैपिटल एक्सपेंडिचर इनकर्ड बाय ए बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू सेट अप ए प्रोजेक्ट इफ ए बिजनेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन wants to set up a large project it has to make huge capital expenditure and then the concept of net present value it is used in that context so concept of net present value is used with reference to capital budgeting capital expenditure it's a long term investment and being long term investment it has long term implications because it is exposed to many uncertainties and when it is faced when it is exposed to many uncertainties hence there is very high risk this means those projects which involve capital budgeting they carry high risk and to make assessment of that risk proper financial appraisal is required and net present value it is used as a financial appraisal tool so it is part of discounting techniques there are two important discounting technique one of them is net present value and other is internal rate of return in this lecture we are going to discuss net present value how net present value is calculated so net present value is calculated as npv equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 up to cn minus c0 here c0 means initial investment to so cash outflow the investment which the promoters are making in the project c1 it represents present value of first year cash inflow so whatever cash inflow in the form of profit will come in the first year its present value is c1 so c2 is present value of cash inflow of second year c3 it is present value of cash inflow of third year and so on so this is future profit not only future profit it is a present value of the future profit now how do we decide whether to make the investment or not in case the net present value is zero or it is positive the project can be accepted and investment can be made provided the discount rate at which the net present value is calculated that is acceptable to the investor so if this discounting is made at 10% then that discount rate should be acceptable to the promoter to the investor if at that discount rate the net present value is negative the investment will not be undertaken so the investment will be undertaken only if the net present value is zero or positive and secondly that discount rate should be acceptable to the investor now we take up a case study so here we are calculating net present value at 10% discount rate 
so here we have initial investment so this is minus that is cash outflow this is first year return this is second year this is third year this is fourth year this is fifth year and this is net part of that so here we have discount factor at 10 percent so these are the factor values so we have obtained these values from discount value tables and here we calculate the present value so cash flow multiplied by discount factor it gives us the present value so present value for 1000 is 909 rupees present value of cash inflow at by in the second year it will be discounted with this factor so this is the value for third year cash inflow this is the discount factor and this is the value for fourth year cash inflow this is the discount factor this is the value and for fifth year cash inflow this is the discount factor and this is the value now we add up the present value from this project <coughs> so this is the total present value and this is the initial investment so difference of these two all this is this we say c1 this is c2 this is c3 this is c4 this is c5 so total of cash inflows present value is double five eight five and initial investment is minus five thousand this means the net present value is five eighty five so it is positive <coughs> and when it is positive then investment can be made so net present value is 585 at a 10 percent discount rate if this discount rate is acceptable to the investor he can make the investment now we shall see another case at 15 percent discount rate so here we have net present value at 15 percent so the same cash inflow now discounted at 15 percent and these are the discount factors we have obtained these discount factors from net present value tables so first year's cash inflow is 1000 discount factor is 0 0.870 hence the present value is 870 for second year cash inflow this is the discount factor and this comes to present value for third year cash inflow this is the discount factor so this is the value for fourth year this is the cash inflow multiplied by discount factor so the value comes this this is for fifth year multiplied by discount factor so this comes the net the present value now we this is c1 this is c2 this is c3 this is c4 this is c5 and this is c0 now we add up c1 to c5 so it comes to 4868 so the present value of all cash inflows from this project at 15 percent comes to 4868 whereas the initial investment is 5000 this means there is negative net present value of minus 132 so net present value is minus 132 at 15 percent discount rate in case this investor wants minimum 15 percent return then he will not be making an investment because here the net present value is minus at 15 percent discount rate in this way the investors can take decisions on whether to make the investment or not that is how this tool is very useful in financial appraisal of large projects 
Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have been benefited by this lecture. Thank you once again.